Hi everyone, it's Henry here. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at how we've done the really quick, simple swamp bases for all the miniatures we've been doing from the Age of Sigmar Dominion box release. I'm going to go through the materials I've used and why, and the exact process start to finish. So let's get to it. First things first, we want to get the mud down on the base. So I've grabbed a synthetic brush. This is just from a pack of craft brushes from a, a craft store, a couple of pounds for a you know big pack of 10 or 20 of them. And I'm going to use a product called Vallejo Thick Mud Texture. And this is uh, Russian mud, but it comes in all sorts of a variety of brown colours and a few slightly different ones as well uh, if you're choosing to base it in a, in a different area. It's for mainly for making dioramas with, but it works brilliantly, I found, for basing uh, miniatures with. And it's actually one of my go-to textures, regardless of if I'm going to have it brown or not. But when it comes to the basing, I wanted it to be really simple. Um, you know, this is for these videos, but it's also a way of making the bases look nice without taking tons of time on them. And these sorts of products are a real time saver. So I've grabbed a big dollop of the mud out, popped it on the base, and then I've just dipped my brush into a pot of water. And I'm using that water to then slightly dilute it and just to push it around. And what we're trying to do is make a realistic or naturalistic looking surface. So we don't really want to have tons of brush marks in there or whatever we've chosen to apply the texture with. So I've tried to use a fairly large brush here, quite a soft brush. And I'm just going to keep dabbing at it and pushing it around until I think it looks more just like a you know patch of mud or sodden earth uh, rather than it looking like I've painted it on. And the nice part is, is we're going to do very little to this now. Um, we want the brown colour. You know, the, the Russian mud is, is, in my opinion, a perfect colour. If you look at, you know, sort of fens and things like that, it's that real dark, almost peaty looking soil. Next up, I'm going to grab some tufts. Now, the two brands that I like to use are Mini Nature, and I'll put these in the description, and Gamers Grass. I always think with this sort of thing, a nice wide variety of colours is going to look more natural or more realistic than just the one colour. And I think the quality of tufts really does vary company to company. Um, we've gone through a lot <laughs> through our glasses and things like that, and these are definitely the two brands that I, I buy now. The Vallejo mud texture is also an adhesive. So whilst it's wet and it takes ages to dry, like you, you can do this over half an hour and you'd still be able to to move it around. So whilst it's wet, we can use it as an adhesive. So I'm going to grab the tufts, I'm using a pair of tweezers, pull them off the backing sheet. That one folded in on itself, so just fold it back out. And then we can just press it down into the mud. Now some of the tufts will have a decent level of adhesion on the back of them anyway, depending on the brand you get. But it doesn't hurt that we've got this, this nice sort of thick goopy mud to stick it down into. And you could stick other things down into this, you know, uh, if I had some skulls maybe I wanted to decorate the base with, it's Warhammer after all, um, you could just push those in. Little rocks, things like that, you can just push them all in and the adhesive that's in that mixture is fantastic, it will hold them, hold them down great. So now to create that swampy look I guess, or boggy look, I'm going to pick a few different tufts of different sizes and different greens, just to give us some variety, to give us some interest. So these ones are little, they're called moss pads. Just gonna do a little group of those together. And wherever possible, I'd suggest looking at some photographs or if you're fortunate enough to live next to, you know, a nice bit of outdoors, which has got this type of scenery around it, go for a walk, just have a look around, take some photos yourself and just, just get an idea of the colors that you might be looking for. There's obviously an argument as well that the colours might be determined by the colour you've painted in miniatures as well. But for me, I you know, I, I was happy for this to look as sort of similar to our world as, as possible uh, within the restraints we've set. And to add a little bit of colour in, uh, Gamers Grass I think do some of the best, uh, and Mini to be fair, but uh, the ones I'm enjoying using at the minute are these Gamers Grass ones. They do a lovely selection of different sort of flowers. And I'm sure there's flowers and things in bogs and swamps and stuff. Uh, so let's add a little bit of extra colour in there as well. And the only tip I guess I'd give with uh, things like that is to 
perhaps not, don't have them standing out on their own, not surrounded by anything else. You know, if you've got a rock or something like that, push them up against that. You know, or here we've got some, you know, a good clump of tufts and can shove it into the middle of. Which helps it look a little bit more realistic, I think. And then if you do have any around the edge, just wipe it off with your thumb. The base has been left for just over two and a half hours at this point and it's absolutely fine to carry on with the next steps. But typically, if I was doing this at home for my own hobby, I'd have done this part in the evening and just left it to dry overnight or until I've come back to the next hobby session. You could just leave it like this. Looks pretty cool and it's very, very simple. But I want to add a few more uh, elements and, and layers of detail to the base. So I've taken a green enamel wash here. Now this is a Slimy Grime Dark by Ammo by Mig, but you could use any green enamel wash, any green oil wash, you could even use a contrast paint, something like that. The colour's the important thing. And I wanted to just add that sort of sense of moss or algae or just that kind of thing that's in the ground. This isn't just a, a muddy field with tufts on it. We want to make it look, you know, as boggy and as swampy, uh, or a bit more boggy, a bit more swampy. So I've applied it with my, again, a synthetic brush there. And then I've just taken some mineral spirits to clean the brush with. And I'm just going to thin out the edges so we get various degrees of intensity of that green. So again, just keep going back to the mineral spirits and just washing it out a bit. And the thing with enamel washes and oils as well is they'll often dry with quite a matte finish to them. So you can see the green here, but it's not looking particularly swampy, in my opinion. So we've got one final step that I've done to these bases, and I think it really does transform it. And that's using a product called Wet Effects. And again, I'm using uh, MIG, Ammo by MIG, MIG Productions, same people. Now with a synthetic brush, just get a little bit, little bit of uh, this mixture, whatever it actually is, the Wet Effects, on the brush, and then just drop it on. To where I want it. I want to let it ideally drop on and pool around as naturally as possible rather than painting it on. You can see it gives this wonderful glossy wet look to what we've done and I'll get a try and get a little bit of it on the tops of the grass maybe on the flowers so a little bit of that moisture has got trapped in there and just work your way around. On some of the bases you might choose to do the entire thing on others you might have sort of a little bit raised bit of ground or something on there that perhaps wouldn't be so damp or maybe you model in more of a puddle that you want to you know really sort of emphasize to so fill with the greens uh, and then you can put the wet effects over and there it is so like i said really really simple you could take more or less any of the stages we've done and elevate any of them you could add more techniques you could add more textures you could add more paints you could add all sorts of different things but I think for a gaming base, this is what, four or five steps, if that? There's, there's no painting really involved in any of it other than applying the enamel wash. And I feel like we've got a really interesting base, a really fun little scene that we can set our miniatures into. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you're enjoying this series we're doing on the Dominion box. If you want to see any more bases, let me know in the comments. And I'll see what projects we've got coming up that I can try and apply those to. So hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already. Thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.